Hello and welcome to A Cup of Conversation. My name is Jan Ghazi, I'm your host on the programme and this week my guest is an old friend of mine who was on the programme while well, we were talking off air about three, four years ago and that was when we were recording for a short period in the Oval Studios of BRTK. We are now back in the studios with Aras Karabalian. So uh, Aras Karabal, should I say, is my guest on the programme. We're talking about his new shop in Bella Pines and about, well, about everything that is beautiful here in the TRNC. First of all, Aras, welcome back to the programme. I can't believe it's been so long yeah. that you were here. Time flies, definitely. Very, very quickly time goes by. And I remember we were talking about your first shop in Karakum. Mm -hmm. And I know that it was a very popular shop. And uh, when, when did you open that shop, the very first one? Uh, March, 2000, uh, March 27th, 2013. Right, so that was when the secret window first arrived on the correct. island. That's correct. And uh, we'll talk more about the shop, but let's talk about you. I know that you are a very popular guy in the Guinea area. Everyone knows Aras Karabal. And uh, so let's find out more about you. Uh, Aras, where are you from originally? I was born in Istanbul. I am Armenian. Uh, I moved to Cyprus in 1988, became North Cypriot. And then, 2000, uh, 2000, sorry, 1993, I moved to Canada. I lived in Canada for 20 years, and now I am in, Can in Cyprus. In Cyprus. So what's the link to Cyprus? I mean, you were born in Istanbul, you're Armenian, you went to Canada. How did you end up coming to North Cyprus then? Now, since 1976, my parents used to come to Cyprus. Uh, and we are very unique in North Cyprus. We are the first and one and only Armenian North Cypriot citizens. And we didn't uh, apply for it, basically. It was given to us. That was a big honor for, uh, for us. It was a uh, Denktash period. Mm -hmm. You know, around the Denktash period, there was a uh, big popularity of his, especially British expats. Uh, they used to love him because of uh, cultural act, uh, cu cultural events, and uh, he used to love art. That's why uh, he was very popular amongst expats. And so you came as a family here. Yeah. What is your business? I mean, we know now that you are involved with with jewelry, with gifts, with lots of important companies worldwide. Yeah. Were you always a businessman? Is that what you uh, trained, studied? Yes, definitely. Uh, always I have been a business person. Uh, we start in the Cyprus, North Cyprus, with six, uh, Secret Window by Karabalian. But in Bella Pais, we changed a little bit the concept because the, the shop is uh, right now exists with four different uh, stores joined together. Mm -hmm. So one shop is Amore Mbachi Cyprus, mm -hmm. which is uh, second in the world. And Amore Mbachi is known in 75 countries. And uh, the other shop is Cyprus House, which is a gift shop. Uh, all the products are locally made. Uh, Ipek Kozası, silk cocoons, mm -hmm. uh, Labda Ishi, and uh, Lefkara. Yes. And all kind of uh, crafts. And the other shop is, again, Secret Window by Karabalian, which is unique uh, jewelry, uh, one of a kind jewelry as well. And I have a little uh, art shop in there, which is uh, original paintings and some prints as well. Very busy. Four different shop. things going on in yes. one big shop. Yes. Now, as we said before, the original uh, Secret Window by Karabalian was in Karakom. Yes, that's correct. And then uh, you moved, didn't you? Yes. And now we are, I know that you are uh, going to open, or is it officially open now, your new shop in Bella Pais? It is open, but we are going to have an event on Wednesday mm -hmm. for a small gathering with our regular customers. Uh -huh. Obviously, you are invited as well. Thank you very much. Uh, when this program airs, the, uh, pro the event will already have happened, so good luck with the uh, event and um, congratulations for opening. So you are now in a great location, Bella Pais. Uh, you are right opposite the Abbey, yep. so it's very easy to, to find you. You are not too far from the car park next to the Abbey. And so why did you move, Aras? Do you need a bigger location? Do you want a, a location where you are probably nearer more tourists? How did it work? Uh, to, uh, to make more money. 
<laughs> Basically, because we had our own uh, Cypriot clientele mm -hmm. and expats. So we said we have to add to this clientele, this portfolio. So that's why we end up in Bella Pais, because obviously it's number one tourist attraction location in whole uh, Cyprus. It is one of my favorite locations, mm -hmm. Bella Pais. And I have to start with this, because this is the best news I've ever heard uh, so far in a long time. Now, you mentioned uh, we have an Italian company, Amore and Baggi, and uh, love and uh, Baggi isn't it kiss? Yeah, Amore is love, and, and Baggi is a kiss. Yeah, so love and kiss. Yes. And th so this is an Italian company. Yes, it is. So what do you do? Do you import their their goods? Do you, you import and sell it in the yeah. shop? We, uh, I am the sole distributor for uh, North and South Cyprus, mm -hmm. and I have representativeness for uh, Turkey. Right. And what does uh, Amor and Baji uh, sell mostly? Is it jewelry? Now, they start with this kind of merchandise, which is beads and charms, like right. Pandora. But the difference is Pandora is American company with Thailand manufacturing. This merchandise is solely Italian made. And the glass beads you see here, they are Murano glasses, original. Mm -hmm. And uh, the stones you see, not all of it, but most of the stones you see here, they are real Swarovskis. Now, when you see, uh, you see with Swarovski, they have their own shops and they have a wholesale department. Yeah. And they do bulk sales. So Amore Bachi buys uh, bulk Swarovski and sells it. We sell the goods with certification, with authenticity certification, and uh, this is their main business. But then they start, uh, they add to their portfolio, uh, they had end collection, which is regular jewelry items, but mm -hmm. uh, again with Swarovskis, the, with Italian design, and uh, they have rose gold, rose gold plated uh, selection, they call rose gold world. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have three different kind of uh, brands, basically. The mother corporation is MII, made in Italy. That's the corporation. Mm -hmm. And they also, uh, we, through them, we sell uh, Crasper uh, watches. And uh, uh, there's other two other brands that I cannot name right now because I'm working on uh, the rights. Okay. I have it, but because of the Greek site, I cannot pronounce the name. All I right, can then, say okay. one, which is Colory brand. So, um, very, very popular, the Pandora bracelets. Yes. So, you sell all the different things Beats. that you can add on to the bracelet. But, now, and you've uh, circled this now for us, we have travel memories. And I don't know whether we can uh, see this. Uh, very, very interesting. It's too small to, to see, but in the travel memories, uh, what are these? Are these um, for the Pandora bracelets or for the necklaces? Like or? these uh, beads you see here. Beads, okay. There is one, uh, there is silver beads selection. Yeah. And one of the section is travel. Right. So, memories. in the travel memories, you can add to your Pandora and add things like the uh, Roman Colosseum. You have the Italian foot itself, obviously, because Ital Italy is a company that's uh, selling this, lots of Italian stuff. We also have the uh, Eiffel Tower in France, and Russia, Basilica, but also, lo and behold, I see Cyprus and Bella Pais. Now, I'm amazed that you have this international company, and tell us about this story. So you now have added Bella Pais into this collection, yes? That's correct. How did that happen? Uh, first of all, uh, I wanted to do this. First, I studied the uh, Kyrenia Harbor, but uh, to make that one is quite difficult. So we start to work on the, the Bella Pais Abbey and uh, tell the truth, they come up with six different type of beads, one by one. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like them all because it has to be really, really good. Once you are doing something, it has to be exquisite. So they come up with this and it was a favor, obviously, even though I financed for uh, numerous uh, copies, mm -hmm. uh, but now it's okay, we have it. So soon they are going to start selling in London as well. And uh, whoever wants in 75 countries they want to uh, buy, they can buy it. This is in the small catalog as well. Amazing. So 
Bella Pais is now actually uh, in the catalogue. Can we see Bella Pais, please? Yes. Uh, I know that the camera can't get this, but um, it is amazing. It is beautiful, and uh, it really, really is small. We can't get much uh, detail from this, but I, I promise to take a photograph and you can see it on uh, Facebook. But um, it really looks like it. I love it. I love the arches. I love the design. And it's really cool. I think anyone who has a, a love for Bella Pais will would love to have this. Yeah, Amazing. Be. So well done. You put Cyprus on Thank the map you. there internationally. <laughs> Thank uh, you. At us. Thank Those you are much. small things that in, it's important. And of course, these little things are yeah. uh, very important. And as you said, this catalogue, this company is in 75 countries around the world. Mm. Can you also buy online? Can no, you order? You can't. St strictly you cannot buy online. Right. We have a website, you can go, you can see the pieces, you can order it on, by phone or email it, and then we can ship it to you. But we cannot sell online. This, this is uh, requested by the head okay. office. Okay, but it's at your shop now. That's right. Bella Pais is at Bella Pais uh, shop for Aras, uh, the secret window by Karabalian. And so this is one thing, this is a more Mbaji, and we've got lots of different things here. You know, we've got lots of, the catalog is too much to go into, but a lot of it is linked to uh, the Pandora bracelets, which is very, very fashionable now. All the ladies are loving it. And I think it's an exquisite uh, present for anybody out there, any uh, lady, beautiful colors, beautiful designs, amazing. So that's one of the shops in the other, in the shops that you have. Now we have the Cyprus shop, uh, and you said about Lefkada Lake. It's Cypress House, that's what Cypress they call it. Cypress House. Okay, so these are magnets. That's correct. Beautiful magnets. So again, how does this work? Do you have a comp Do you have somebody making these for you? Not one person. There's a bunch of ladies. A bunch does, of ladies. They come up with these goods, but obviously at the beginning the quality level wasn't that good. So slowly, slowly we came to this point and we uh, introduced Cypress House as a brand. Uh, so, uh, this is just a few items uh, from Cyprus House. There's a mm -hmm. bunch of things. There's a bag for garbages, garbage plastic bags. Mm -hmm. There's a bag and you th throw the garbage bags and you can collect it. Different kind of uh, designs, basically. So, is this exclusive to you again? Are these only found or in Cyprus House? Uh, no, it's only in my shop. Only in your shop. So, if you want something like this, you go to Aras's shop. And again, this, is most, this must be very popular with tourists because they want something that's very Cypriot. Yeah. Yep. And this is very Cypriot, isn't it? This is something yep. that, you know, the lace uh, and the, the, the hard work that goes into it is very, very traditional. Is it popular now amongst your customers? Yes, definitely, because uh, it's funny. In uh, Bella Pais, silk cocoon is supposed to be a very big tradition. But mainly, we are selling silk cocoons with this uh, selection, mm -hmm. because we have everything, home decorative things, mainly with silk cocoons. Uh, we have bags, we have uh, wine uh, bags, different kind of things. And I know that the yearly event, the Silk Festival, is that Philippi is happening yes, as well? Yes, that's right. Were you there this year? Did you go? I don't attend to there. Um, you don't, you don't have I a don't, school there or anything? I don't want to point certain things, but uh, it, yeah. we have, uh, as uh, uh, shop owners, we are having the difficulty with this festival, so... Okay, all right, then we, we'll bypass that, yes. uh, that subject, but uh, it's a good place to have uh, this type of... Uh, merchandise. Wonderful merchandise, because people are going into the harbour, into the uh, abbey, and then, of course, to your souvenir shop. Yeah. And a great way to, to get a, a present or two. Now... Uh, another part of your shop. Oh, by the way, I can add to one thing. Yes. Amorebachi has another small division, oh, yes. which is for babies and kids. This is, for example, for a baby. For a baby? Yes. This is a ring. It's a tiny one. Yes. Uh, we have also bits, smaller ones, uh, for boys and girls as well. Uh, basically, the kids who wants, to, let's say, the girls, they want to have something similar to their mother, they can have in uh, Amorebachi Junior. Ah, very interesting. <laughs> Beautiful. Again, we have, a, you know, a lovely sign of Cyprus. We have earrings, rings, uh, necklaces, everything again. We, always, we, we, we love the ladybirds. <laughs> they're, they're very beautiful, very uh, nice. So there is, there is something there that's unusual, mm -hmm. different uh, 
presents to give, not the usual things that we yeah. know, something that's a little bit special, a little bit different, uh, which is a very good thing that you have. Now, let's, let's go on to some of the uh, things that we have on show here. And I don't know how close my uh, cameraman can get. But first of all, now, coming up soon, we have graduation time. And we all know that the lovely owl symbolizes education, knowledge, and we have a graduating owl. So we have things like this, a presence for somebody who is graduating. Uh, where do these come from? Who, who... Some of them are coming, uh, majority of them coming from Italy again. Mm -hmm. They are handmade, they are porcelain. Very, very beautiful, I have to say. Excellent. You have this for graduating students. You have this for expecting mums. And this is obviously uh, for a boy. So if, if, if the boy is going to be born, we have this in pink as well, yes? For That's girls. correct, for girls. All right, then the stork is bringing the baby. So an, another unusual present for a new mother. We have uh, a penguin playing the saxophone. Yes. We have <laughs> orchestras, uh, cat orchestra, dog orchestra. We have all kinds. Uh, yeah. It's quite a So selection. how does this work? I mean, is there a catalogue that you choose from? Yes. Uh, and you decide which ones you, you like? Yeah. So you, you're the one that chooses everything there. And this one I like. Now, this is Noah's Ark. We have the animals, but and you, I didn't know until you showed me. Underneath, we have a fish under the boat. So everything is, is thought of there. And again, you know, very clever little ornaments, nice presents. Um, if someone comes into your shop, wanting something very specific. Now, my director, uh, Talmach, he has uh, a bull terrier. Yeah. He was asking you off air about whether you have any bull terriers or you know, anything to do with that. Uh, can someone come along and ask you and then you can maybe order? Have you taken orders like that? Uh, or is it, it difficult to... It is difficult, but uh, we can, obviously. It depends on the type of the year because yeah. we place an order twice a year only. So till next... One, uh, we have to wait. You have to wait. Yeah. And so do you have like... Because the full container comes. We cannot order one or two or something like that. It's a, because the manufacturing uh, companies, they are big. <coughs> so then you cannot order one. You, uh, for each color, each one, you have to order 52 items. Ah. So one, uh, for example, Noah's Ark is easy. You can order a few hundred. But uh, certain things, you cannot order one. That's our problem. Yeah. So we, we share the load with four shops. So in other words, it has to be something that's popular, that yeah. you know will sell, yeah. not something that's very, very specific. Yeah. Anyway, but it's, it's good to know this. But, but we used to have the, that type of a dog in our collection. I should, we should have in one of my cousin's uh, store. OK, then. So my, I, I will tell my director to look out sure. for the, the bull terrier. Um, so we have all these things in the shop mm -hmm. and you are dealing with international co uh, companies. How easy is it to, do, to deal? I mean, as you were saying now, you have, you have certain restrictions like you know, twice a year, delivery. Mm -hmm. It's not easy for you to, to get everything done, then, is it? it uh, how do you work this system? I mean, do you have a, a good agreement with these companies? I mean, Amore and Baji, they are an international company. They obviously, do they say to you, I want to see your shop. How are you working? What are you doing? Do you have to meet certain requirements? Uh, definitely, the, these requirements are there, but uh, those ones are still easy to handle. Yeah. But uh, then the pressure comes with, with volume. And in Cyprus, obviously, volume is not really there compared to other uh, countries. Yes. So you have to work around it, and uh, obviously you have to perform under pressure. There is no other choice. This is business. Pressure has to be there. You have to reach to certain goals. Anas, you've been doing this for you know, many years now. I mean, you know, you're a businessman. You know what you want. You have got great gifts, great items here to uh, show our viewers. But there are lots of people. I mean, lots of people now are opening gift shops and jewelry shops. I mean, as you said, for instance, you know, again, name dropping Swarovski. It has its own shop. Yeah. Uh, now in, in Kyrenia, in Guinea. So it's very difficult to, you know, you're saying other companies can get wholesale, you are now selling it mm -hmm. uh, as part of your shop. Are you, you, you must have a lot of competition. Now, the thing is, good point. Uh, 
uh, it's uh, always you need to have an age. Yes. And uh, if I see something that it's unique, and if I know it's unique, I like to put in my shop. And uh, I have to be sure that 100% you cannot find anywhere in North Cyprus or in the Greek side. This is my point. We, you have to be edgy. The, most of the jewelry stores nowadays, when you go there, they are carrying similar shop, uh, things. Not only in North Cyprus or in Turkey, even in Canada. When you get into a jewelry shop, you don't know if you are in the same shop or in a different shop. That's the thing. You have to have unique uh, products in your mm -hmm. shop. Now, my shop is not the best shop in North Cyprus, but it's, uh, I, I can say that it's the most unique boutique jewelry shop. Yes. That's the difference. I, uh, you cannot compete with the inventory. You cannot compete with the design uh, in diamonds, for example. But, for example, I have a piece here. So, lately, there is a lot of young couples. They are coming to my shop mm -hmm. for stud ring. This is not a CZ ring. It's real Swarovski ring. So they, when they do, uh, when they buy, instead of buying diamonds, they are buying Swarovski one. Yes. And it's becoming really popular. Ah, let's have a look at this. So this is the new, uh, this is like an engagement ring or a wedding ring? Yes. Very nice. So this is Swarovski. They do proposal with this. Or with, uh, will you marry me? Yes. Yeah, guys, come on. This is the, this is the, the ring for the girl out there. Uh, it is very beautiful. Very uh, subtle, but charming. And as you say, you have to be edgy. Have yes. something uh, a little bit more different. Yes. Than, is that what you specialize in then? Uh, do you choose? I mean, are you sitting there in your shop now and you're looking through the catalogs, the magazines? Uh, are you the one that decides, I want this? And then, you know, you make a note and you make an order or... How does it work? I mean, are you... Or do you go to other... Do you travel a lot to other countries or do you, how does it work for you? Because to be edgy, you have to have a good vision. And I know you have good vision. A certain percentage of the goods are totally, it's my own risk. Basically, yeah. I pick it up. Mm -hmm. But also you have to listen to your customers. You have to listen who is around you. You have to see what is wrong with the product. Sometimes the product is very nice, but the price is not right. You cannot have the best merchandise but the price is not right. So you have to challenge yourself always for a better one. Now they say uh, if there is another jewelry shop in your block, it's a problem because there is competition. Competition makes yourself even stronger in any business. Yes. There is now, uh, for example, in North Cyprus, there is different channels, uh, TV channels, but always there is competition, but the competition should be in a nice way always needs to challenge with, uh, should be by the book, not off the book. You know what I mean. Uh, Jangazi is doing a, a production here in the BR, uh, BRT, and it's very unique all the time. Your voice is unique. Nobody can compete. Yeah. Copying is a big issue in North Cyprus. Everybody wants to copy each other to be successful. We have to try to be edgy and unique. Yes. When I, uh, we do uh, events in my shop four times, five times a year, and I always look to do something first time in North Cyprus. And then I see other shops does too. I don't feel bad. I'm glad because they are trying to do the same thing. That means it's successful. Yes. Sometimes they do the same thing, but they are more successful than me. That's fine. I'm okay with it. But always, uh, we have to try to do something new, and we have to be creative. I remember you were saying about your events. I remember not long after I interviewed you three or four years ago, you, you bring over sometimes experts from abroad. Don't you? I think from Turkey you had somebody, um, yeah. and you have these, you know you have demonstrations there or a chance to meet. Yeah. Uh, are you going to have anything like that in the new shop now then, do you think, or mm, not at not the moment? Not anytime soon, but we always try to do something new. Are you happy with moving from Karakum to Bilapais? Is this a good move for you now, do you think? Definitely. 
definitely, 100%, because uh, there is more uh, traffic at my shop, especially with this new extension. You can see it, like uh, the, if there is nobody in the village, it seems like, still we have some kind of traffic yeah. because of the weather, because of something. Sometimes uh, there is not enough people in the village, but somehow they find us. Still people come to us. Your location is fantastic, I have to say. I mean, you know, you've got a great uh, location because the Abbey okay. is so popular, so beautiful. There's exhibitions there, concerts there. Uh, the restaurants around the area are very popular, so people are coming and going all the time. So you're, you, know, you made a very good choice there. Uh, Thank you. But again, it, it depends on whether those people are interested in, in buying what you are selling. And I'm sure you, you've got a lot of variety. Is that why? I mean, why did you not just concentrate on, let's say, Amore and Baji, or on Cyprus House, or on the ceramics? What was the, you know, do you want to give people a chance to buy different things, you know, to have something of everything? Is that your intention to, you know? As long as uh, I don't ruin the co one concept, I like to add other concepts. Mm -hmm. But don't, I should never forget that there is, I, I'm running a jewelry shop. I cannot sell everything in there. But uh, certain things I can add on. That's the main goal. I, uh, when I put uh, Cypriot goods, I start to bring other people who is not interested in jewelry, let's say, because they think it's expensive. They get into the shop when they are buying the gifts, and then they notice a jewelry. Because that first connection is very important. And then they start to, to look at it, and then they, they buy it. For example, sometimes they come husband and wife. Uh, and the wife wants to buy something and the husband doesn't. Or it's just the opposite. Always it turns. The, then the, uh, the guy, the man, uh, notices men's section, uh, looks at the men's watches or men's jewelry. And then everything turns, uh, turns out. And it helps a uh, different kind of uh, collection. It helps to finalize the sale. You say men's jewellery, I mean, okay, okay, we all know about watches, but I can see from you, you know, you are uh, also promoting uh, jewellery. Are men now becoming more interested in jewellery? Oh, definitely. Think? Really? Definitely. Uh, there is actually uh, more men right now, they show me the woman's jewellery, <laughs> and they say, you know what, can we, do you have in this, but in men's? <laughs> because there is unique difference. We cannot make it, obviously. Uh, that type of a change, just like that. Uh, but there is lots of inquiry, even for color stores, stones. Really? Yeah. Amazing. So, so men are getting into that sort of uh, area as well, where it's not just women browsing through the catalogs or looking through the, sh the, the shelves. Uh, even men are getting into to jewelry, which is good. So there's something for everybody there. As we said before, I mean, you know, gifts uh, for children, for the whole family. Uh, I think, you know, it's... An unusual idea, but a very unique idea, because we need things. I mean, this could be very specific, you know. Uh, who, I mean, not everyone's going to buy this, because not everyone's thinking of education. Sure. But anyone who's graduating in a few weeks or in a month's time, this is a, a great gift, a present that will last forever. So you've caught something there, the attention uh, of certain things, certain people that I'm sure will come along to your shop just to see what you have uh, to offer. I remember asking you once, the last time that you were here, about whether you'd open up a different shop in a different town. Do you remember yes. maybe going into our capital, Lefkosha, or to Gazi Malsa? And now, I mean, for instance, Lefkosha, the old quarters, we have uh, the Bandabolia area, you've got the, the Bedestan, the, uh, the Bukhan, the Guat Jorahan. Are you ever thinking of now going in there, or, or is this shop in Benapais keeping you very busy? You see, uh, at the moment, always volume is important. Yeah. That's correct. Uh, and in Cyprus, the economy is changing so fast. And uh, negotiations for peace process, it's going on as well. It's not finished. It's not over. That's mm -hmm. what they say. Always, uh, strategically, everything changes all the time. Right now, to say in uh, Levkosha, I'm not thinking anything because I want to... Uh, my the clientele target is three different: local Cypriots, expats, and tourists. 
So I am uh, in Lefkoşa, I can get that one as well. But it's really a fragile market, if you ask me, right now. You could have opened um, anywhere, like I said. You chose in Belapais uh, because of the abbey and the area. It's such a great... But you are not on the main... You know, you have to go to Belapais yeah. to, to see you. That's correct. Um, do you think that amongst the Eiffel Tower or the Colosseum, do you think Belapais is the symbol for... North Cyprus. No, no. Are you at the yeah. Are you at the best historical site? Do you think on um, the island? I think you are. Yes, I am. I think you are. I am. It's my favourite location, but then I am biased because I love Villa Pais. But do you? I mean, we, you couldn't have. Could, maybe you could have been in the harbour, let's say, um, and uh, maybe open... the harbour can be the next. You ah. never know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But you know, um, being next to such an important location. Does it help you with passing trade, with the tourists coming in? What do you say? There are lots of tourists at the moment. Yeah, roughly we get uh, over 20 buses per day. That's the average. Really? Sometimes more, plus the, plus the buses, small buses coming from the Greek side. Wow. I it, never knew that. I never knew yeah. there were so many buses. Yeah. And then, of course, they all come into the, pass into the shop yeah. and have a look. So you were happy with, the, with what's going on there? Yep, yeah, it's uh, quite well. Now, uh, one reason uh, I am the slower uh, to move to another location as well, like secondary, third location, because I was talking to one lady and it was a good point. I said, if I had, a, because this uh, customer was coming from Lefkosha, I, I said, if I had a second shop in Lefkosha, uh, would you buy from me more often? And the answer was no. I said, why? She goes to me, now uh, you are unique. It, you are hard to find. We, I am coming all the way to Balapais, getting you, getting jewelry. Mm -hmm. in, it's hard to find. If you had five locations in North Cyprus, wouldn't be unique. So I thought about this and it was right. Mm -hmm. And it's always good to listen to your clientele. Sometimes they have the answer. Uh, I never say I know, uh, I know, I know in any kind of uh, issues. Mm -hmm. You have to always listen. And uh, I learned this in the Toronto, in U University of Toronto. There was a lesson just to listen in university. Yeah. That's very important. You have to listen to your clientele. The, the customer is always right, and that's they right. say, don't they? So you are... When this program is aired, mm -hmm. you will have had the opening. I know that you are organizing a special little party for your friends. So that, that is on... Uh, Wednesday, Wednesday. Uh, June the 7th. So, okay, so this will be after, the, this airs after June the 7th. So um, you'll already be open. So after that, what are the opening times for your shop? I mean, are you always there as well, by the way? Are you at the shop most times? Generally time? speaking, I try to be there. The, we are open uh, latest 9 o'clock. And generally speaking, we open till six, seven, sometimes eight, uh, due to festival or summer hours, July, August, when it's very hot. Uh, the people wants to go and shop after six, seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Then we are there till eight, eight thirty. Also, I don't know whether it affects you, but there is currently a music festival yes. at, at the uh, Abbey. So again, people are coming to the festival to to um, to see the concerts. Yeah. Do they then? Maybe pop in. I mean, would you then open a little bit, keep the shop open later for the opening until the concert starts? Maybe people who are coming in, yeah. parking, and then walking by. Ah, you know, I had time to quickly pop in. Actually, we are one of the sponsors of the event, ah, uh, for the festival. <laughs> uh, we have a concept co called uh, the gift room. So the soloists, uh, soloists, they come to the shop. We have a coffee, and then we take a picture at the gift room, so called by the fireplace, and uh, they strike a pose, and that's it. Excellent, excellent. So maybe you, have, you need to get more of these, uh, you know, uh, penguins or other animals playing instruments because lots of concerts. You need yeah. a pianist. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have a big pianist. Uh, you have a pianist as well? I'm sold out for that, but I have a <laughs> penguin orchestra, which is very nice. Dog orchestra, cat orchestra, elephant one. It's really koala bear. I'm sure the cats and the dogs are popular because lots oh, yeah. of people uh, own cats and dogs. Yeah. And so I'm sure 
uh, you know, I mean, you've given us just a little taste oh, yeah, of what there is. Definitely. Um, but, you know, I wish you could bring the whole shop here uh, one day, but you can't uh, bring the whole shop. But, I mean, what, what else uh, could we talk about that is not here at the moment? What would you say, what's the most popular thing in your shop now? Is it the, which, which part of your secret window would you say is the most popular? Is it the Amore and Baji? Is it the... Definitely Amore and Baji. Yeah. Um, because, uh, especially from mainland Turkey, the, uh, when the people comes to my shop, they're amazed with the merchandise. They compare to Pandora, uh, but uh, if you ask me, the merchandise is much better. I'm, I'm not just saying it, because I used to have an event, um, and the people used to come with Pandora merchandise on their arm, and they used to put uh, side by side Amore and Bachi, and I used to give as a present one beat, which is uh, suits to Pandora bracelet. And they used to complain, uh, compare, and I used to say nothing. They used to compare, and they used to get their own uh, present, and that was it. Most of the time, they switch from Pandora to Amore and Bachi. That's the <laughs> successful part. Again, for those of you who missed the beginning of the program, I mean, this is uh, Amore and Bhaji. Uh, and obviously, you know, this is a, a beautiful piece of uh, jewellery that you can add on to, change around, and everything is there for you. But um, it's very, very unique, much different, uh, more different than to the normal Pandora. Uh, and Swarovski is there. This is something that, you know, is an acquired taste. People are getting more into it now. Would you say this is probably your biggest seller in the shop now? These uh... Actually, I can say that uh, Amore Bachi E collection, which I don't have here, uh, that's very, very successful. The price tag starts from 14 euros. It goes up to uh, 99 euros. Mm -hmm. And um, the sporty people, uh, costume jewelry uh, liking people, the, everybody loves e-collection. Um, price is really good. And uh, still they use Swarovski. And also really colorful jewelry as well. Uh, long jewelry long necklaces, yeah. uh, sporty ones, and night ones, uh, night dress uh, jewelry as well. Uh, it's really good, and turnover is really successful. And let me tell you one story. Uh, we went to uh, Arezzo Fair, and uh, I was invited, by the way, by Italian uh, embassy. Mm -hmm. And uh, over there, they, the, I was talking with Greek Cypriot jewelry or shop owners, and uh, I was showing some jewelry that they, that they really liked. And I said, check Amore Mbachi online, and you will see the merchandise. They, said, they asked me if the Amore Mbachi brand is in the show. I said, no, because this is a smaller sh uh, show. You have to go for a bigger show. And they said, OK, can we see them while we are in Italy? I said, no. First of all, I have to come and visit your shop in uh, the Greek side. Mm -hmm. And then if I like the shop as a concept, because it's very important, then you should come to my shop. And then you can place an order. Right away they said, but we don't come to the north side. And my answer was, too bad. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> yeah. Very well. There you are. That, that's uh, we are breaking embargoes here. I think now with, with this chat. There was one thing that we didn't see in there. There's a red. Uh, what was that uh, given? Uh, this is uh, Amore Bachi, uh, it's a kind of symbol, which is ladybird, and this is full of Swarovskis. This is actually a pendant. It goes like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is one of the popular uh, pieces that we carry. We sell so much. And uh, the price tag is really, really good. Uh, it's basically 160 TL. For a pendant like this, it's a really good price with the necklace. So there is something for everyone there. And again, yeah. you know, we, we're talking about um, beautiful things here. And people might think, oh, it's quite expensive. But really, there's something for every budget, isn't there? In there? Yes. Uh, you know, it depends on how much you want to spend, what your, your budget is, but there's something for everybody. How do we find you? Um, do we find you online? Definitely. If you want to 
Do you have a website? Yeah, or not? Or is it Amore on Facebook? Bachi, it's, uh, Amore Bachi, Cyprus .com is available. Mm -hmm. And also in Facebook, we are at uh, Secret Window Cyprus. Secret Window, before we end, what is the concept of Secret Window? Why is it Secret Window at us? It's uh, basically, it's a marketing name. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Gloria Secret. How, yeah. if you search how the Gloria Secret start, you can understand Secret Window. Because uh, Secret is a very important name in shopping uh, business. And uh, when you say, because when you do window shopping, you automatically come to Secret Window. Very good, very clever idea. So don't just window shop, go along to uh, the Secret Window by uh, Karabalyan in Bella Pais, right opposite the Abbey, and I think it's going to be a unique location. You work very hard. Thank you. You're an excellent businessman, Aras. Thank I know you that you are much. doing a, a great job in keeping everything alive. It's not easy, not easy uh, in our country to, to keep things going, but you are doing very well. And again, you can go in the morning from about nine o'clock until Aras decides to lock the door. But uh, you go along, have a look and see what's uh, available. Something for everyone, for women, men, children, couples. And uh, I want to say thank you. You can find Aras Karabal on Facebook. Again, uh, look also for amarebajicypress.com, yes, you said. Yeah. And you'll be amazed. We just tip, This was the tip of the iceberg. Much, much more to see. Definitely go into the shop. Aras, thank you very much for coming today. Thank you very much. Good luck much. with the opening. Although when this program is aired, it will already uh, have happened. But I will definitely come along and see you one day with my family. Mm, thank you. And uh, I wish you all the best in Bella Pais, a great location. And thank you for bringing uh, Bella Pais to the international world. It's an amazing location. Yeah, and, that's uh, yours. Thank way. you very much. <laughs> it's a great pleasure to have you here. And see you again soon. Thank you very Thanks, much, Jan. And with that, we've come to the end of A Cup of Conversation for this week on BRT2TV. Until next time we meet, take care, go well. Bye-bye.